Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. I thought I'd do a quick sort of update video uh, now that I've been driving around with the Ram for <clears throat> just shy of 600 miles. Uh, I have just gone through my first uh, regen process, so I thought I'd uh, update you guys on what that was like. Um, pretty much as expected, uh, I was driving home from my dad's house yesterday. As soon as I turned the truck on when I left, uh, I got the notice saying automatic regen in process. Uh, that To see that notice, you, you do have to have it in the uh, diesel particulate filter uh, screen on the uh, sort of dash heads up, or the, the dash uh, screen there. Um, but, but if you have it there, it'll say automatic uh, exhaust system regen in process. And you know, I spent a good chunk of that on the highway, um, some of it in traffic, so it wasn't, you know, highway speeds or anything. Um, so a good, good chunk of that on the highway. And then got home, it was about a 20 minute drive, got off the highway for a little bit, you know, drove through my, my neighborhood, parked, still in process, got out, and yeah, you can take a look, the uh, DPF filter, you can kind of see it, it's uh, radiating heat when you get out, and it's not done. Um, but then... This morning, I turned my truck on, drove out of my neighborhood maybe a mile, and by the time that happened, the engine warmed back up, the notice came back on, it said automatic exhaust system regen in process. Uh, and then I got on the freeway again, drove for maybe two more miles, three more miles, somewhere in there. And that was a mix of traffic and freeway speeds, and then it went off. So I'd say overall the process was about 25 minutes from start to finish and I had interrupted it in the middle, um, you know, between split it over two trips, and it took care of itself. So if anybody's wondering, you know, what it's like to drive and, and you know, have to go through this DPF regen thing, and if you're thinking, well, maybe it's gonna be a total pain in the butt, maybe I have to make a special trip on the highway just to un unclog this thing, um, that's not the case. It really has been designed well. Um, you know, they've, they've made quite a few improvements over the years. Um, between you know the model years in which it first came out to now you, you really can just drive it as though it's not there um, the, you know the, the DPF regen process will take care of itself at any speed uh, as long as you're just driving your vehicle it will um, as long as you allow it to get up to temperature you don't do a series of you know three minute trips where it drives for a couple minutes and cools off uh, as long as you do a trip where you're maybe going five, six, seven miles, you're gonna make some headway into that automatic regen process. Um, you know, it, it will take your fuel mileage down, miles per gallon. It, mine went down from uh, 15, 15.7, I believe, 15.6 to 15.0. Um, again, I'm still in the, uh, the break-in period on my engine, so that's not super amazing. Um, but I'm hoping to see a little bit of improvement after that period, uh, as well as a little bit more in terms of performance. Um, but uh, even even so, during the break-in period, it's doing quite well, um, performance-wise. And uh, I think other than that, that's, that's about it. There really, you know, not not a whole lot happened, not a whole lot to write home about. So um, I think that's uh, probably exactly what you would hope for uh, in a new uh, in a new vehicle like this. So um, the DPF filter, having done about 25 minutes of auto regen, is uh, Clean, cleared out, uh, the filter looks good, and uh, economy, fuel economy is back up. So, uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, uh, please give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and I'll see you in the next one.